Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to show you the hammerlock pass, okay? It's sometimes called the arm behind the back pass. I prefer to call it the hammerlock pass because that's essentially what it is and it gives it a nice unique name that we can remember it by. I'm here with Uke. Today, Mr. Liam Reznikov, he's going to help me out. Now, one of the things I like about this pass is once you get the arm behind the back of the opponent, it's very difficult for them to actually get it back, okay? And while they're struggling on the bottom with that hand trap behind there, all their jujitsu that they've trained with two hands goes out the window, okay? And they're sitting there thinking, I haven't prepared for this situation. I've got one arm behind my back. This guy's got me, okay? So I know I've taught it to people and then they use it on me. And once that hand goes behind the back, there's just this feeling of dread that comes over you with like, ah, they got one up on me already. I haven't finished me yet, but they're definitely a step ahead, okay? And then you can have some fun with it. You know, you can hold it there, grind them down. It's just a good fun move to play with that's also an effective way to pass the guard. Okay, so we're going to go into, first off, three different ways to start it from closed guard, and then we'll show you a couple of finishing options at the end. Okay? So, first thing that we're going to need is to actually pin the hand on the mat. Okay, so what will often happen is if, we're, if we've got good posture, we're playing, you know, nice and tight elbows in, is the person on the bottom will try and pummel their hand in, and when they do, I'm looking to time it and drop my hand down and pin their arm to the mat, okay? So we can be here, nice elbows in, they go to pummel, I'm looking to pin this down to the mat, okay? Now sometimes they might just try and jump, you know, reach down, grab a leg if I, pitch, if I pick it up, and then I can pin it down to the mat as well, okay? The, it's pretty strong. Yeah, the main thing is I want to get across the emphasis of I'm putting all my weight now onto this hand, onto the mat, and not letting go, okay? I'm not going to look to pass it across. This next step is crucial. I'm now going to drive my head forward, same side that's on the arm, lift my hips up, okay? So I lift my hips off the mat, and now to get this arm across, I'm going to take two steps to the side of the trapped arm, okay? While I keep it pinned. One, two, and then I feed it to my arm underneath there, and now I can sit back down, okay? So we'll just get another look, of, look at that. Once that hand's pinned, drive in, lifting my hips up, and it's two steps to the side of the trapped arm, and I've got my other hand here, waiting to catch it down uh, behind my opponent's back, okay? So I go one, two, that brings it across, I capture the arm, and now I've got it. Okay, so we'll give you one look at that from the other side, just so you can see what's happening. So the arm gets trapped on the mat. One, two, we capture it. I'm using my thumb here, and now we've got our opponent trapped. Now for MMA, I mean, I could be sneaky, put two fingers in the glove, I'll leave that up to you if you want to do yeah. that. But this is an excellent punching position. As you can see, because his side, one side's uh, unable to be defended, I can start to tee off here with one arm. Very good, very good position to strike from. Uh, Gary Goodridge got a finish with it back in the day, so we can cause some damage from this position, okay? But for no gear submission grappling, we're now gonna look at options to pass the guard, okay? We're gonna look at three different, three different ways. Let's line it straight back up. First way, as you know these days, we're not, not many people passing with their knees on the ground or staying on the ground. We have to stand up. So with this arm still trapped, I'll still be able to stand up, okay? So uh, one consideration also to take into account is while I'm talking here, I've got my posture midway, but when we're actually rolling, I want to be you know, all the way up or driving all the way in nice and tight, okay? I'm talking here in this position, but there is still a risk of triangles, triangle chokes if I get lazy, okay? So I wanna be all the way in or all the way up, all right? So from here, I could be driving in, and then I'm gonna stand up, one, two, and just get my posture, elbow in, breaking the opponent down, knee slice through, and coming into side control, and I keep hold of that arm, okay? We've got some tricks we can do from here once we finish, all right? So I'm gonna keep hold of that arm and then we're in side control. Let's go back. <laughs> it's pretty uncomfortable, I gotta say. It's very uncomfortable for the guy on the bottom. <laughs> you know, we'll do some shoulder rehab afterwards. It's surprisingly strong too. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to get out. The opponent's got all their, their weight normally on it too because they feel that they have to keep mm -hmm. weight on it. Otherwise, they'll, I'll be able to yank it out even more and it kind of it keeps it all locked in very nice and tight, okay? So the other way, if I'm, my posture was up, I just can pop up, 
Okay, and my opponent's hanging there, elbow in. I can look to look to cut my angle, look to look to come through. Now, if my opponent's elbow is up like here, we can start to look for katagatami arm triangle chokes and go into attacks from there. Okay. So we'll just go through that once more, and then we'll go through the other passing options. Hand behind the back, come up, boom, elbow in. And then we're just doing our you know, standard guard passing from there, opening the guard, looking to get through. All right, now, our other passing options is if he's keeping his, his guard locked, and we're gonna look to, to cut our, uh, to switch our base and uh, pass. So now this time, I'm gonna keep driving in the whole time, all right? I'm driving in, and now I'm gonna switch my base here. My left foot's gonna come out, and I'm gonna put all my weight on my opponent's on my opponent's thighs okay so i'm keeping the arm trapped keeping my head down tight all my weights on opponent's thighs and i'm going to be looking at how his legs are crossed okay if the leg that i've got my weight on if that heals on the bottom then i'm going to cup elbow in nice and tight and just keep walking and push down to open the open the legs. Okay. Nice and shoulder like myself here. Yeah. So that's it's putting a lot of pressure on the shoulder and the legs as I keep walking out this way and pushing that weight down with my elbow. Which I can't actually let you do because my arm um, being thin. Yeah. So, so, so that's that's step one to open the guard. The other way to do it is if his feet are reversed. So, mm -hmm. so we we cut our base. I'm now sorry, sorry. yeah switched. So the foot on the side that we have our, uh, our weight on is on top. I'm still gonna keep walking, but then once this leg comes out, I'm gonna use my hip to push on his other heel. And then that opens the guard, and then we can start to come through, okay? So let's just go through those two one more. We cut out, we cut our angle. So I'm just gonna give a bit more there's a move. That's fine. The leg we're on, yeah, it, it's on the bottom. That's good. We can keep pressuring down. Use that to pass. The other, now this time, that foot, its foot's going over the top. We step around. We use our hip to lock onto this heel. Step back, and then push down, and come through and pass there. Okay. Those are our three ways now of passing the guard once we have the arm trapped. Now we're gonna look at, at ways of finishing, okay? So we're gonna go through, we'll go through two main finishes that I use from there, but consider if you have done that, managed to pass the guard, then you are dealing with a successful guard pass. You can let go of the arm if you really wanted to, move on to other attacking options, but we're gonna show you some ways to finish with the arm still trapped. Okay, so again, we block it down, we come up, two steps across, grab the arm, we're going to stand up, break the guard, come across. Now, if this arm's here again, we can do head arm choking options, okay? There's also triangle choke options if we wanted to, to come up here and start attacking triangle chokes, okay? Those options are going to be available to you if that arm's up, all right? The other option that's going to be, that's going to start happening is the opponent's going to feel that this arm's in danger and they're going to bring, yeah, this arm down here to start to defend, okay? So I want you to come in close and get a look of this hand because we're going to have to switch our grips, okay? So I keep my weight on the opponent and if I can come down, grab it with my other hand and switch it over so, I, so I'm now pushing up. Yeah, that's, that's that's good okay that's what we can we can work towards so i'll have the, my grip like here if i can come down go it with my other hand switch it so i'm now pushing that's good okay sometimes i don't have that option available to grab it with my other hand he's either defending so i have to keep my weight on and i can do it with one hand by removing my thumb out of there and i'm just going to slide my palm underneath and move it back up okay i have to be time that one right because I am losing a bit of control while I make that grip change. So I have to make sure that I've got my weight on. I'm blocking his elbow the other side of the body so he can't pull it out. And I, I let take my thumb out, keep my palm pressuring on, and just start pushing it up, okay? From there, 
now, now I've got good options to attack this arm, okay? So if he starts defending this hand here, first thing I'm gonna to look to do is try and uh, weave my arm in, grab inside wrist control, and now I can get double hammer lock. I'm just gonna bring this wrist tight to his body, lift it up, your opponent's gonna to have to tap with their feet, tap verbally because they're both their hands are locked up, but this is a very slick move and you'll be, you'll be pretty happy if you, if you get this on someone, the dreaded double hammer lock, okay? So that's an option. That arm's trapped, we grab this one, we can tap, tap. we can get a tap there, okay? Now, alternatively, we can also, we can bail on this arm now once this is here and just start looking for our regular Kimura double wrist lock attacks off there as well. That's gonna be available to us, okay? But we'll go through one more finishing option from here now, which I'm actually gonna to move to mount. So the mount take is always gonna be an easy option here because they don't have their hand on this side to defend. So once you get around to side control, nearly always get to mount, okay? They don't have that arm there to block or, or give you any type of frame. So you can come across and again, if you wanted to, you could let go of the arm and just start going your regular mount attacks, okay? MMA, this would be probably shows over if you still kept, kept going for it. But I'm gonna show you one way to finish this arm with this arm trapped, okay? Finish the hammer lock. Now, what's preventing me being able to put, uh, put any more pressure on his arm is the fact that he's keeping it pinned between his body weight and the floor. So I need to remove that, okay? So to do that, I'm going to actually roll into guard. So it is something you have to be confident in doing because you are giving up that positional dominance of being on mount. You know, you, are, you do have this one arm isolated, so you could go for other attacks. But this time, I want to finish with the hammer lock, so I'm going to make the option to roll. What I'm going to do, bring my arm over to the other side of his head, so now it's the same side as the trapped wrist, okay? And now I'm going to willingly roll myself onto my back. Lock my legs, okay, from triangle if we want, but now this is bad, bad position for him. This is actually a really high percentage move for me. Once, once I've get, got people in this position, it's not likely that they're gonna be able to get out, okay? They've got no power in this arm. So now the finishing uh, mechanics is I'm taking this wrist, I'm gonna move it up his back, and then my other hand's gonna come, oh. grab the elbow, and I'm gonna lift it off his body, okay? So I'm gonna do this real, real slow, okay? Wrist up the back, elbow off the body, and of course, I've got a lot of power to actually pull that up. And that's very high percentage for me to actually get that oh, finish. Oh. So the whole time that's going through, you're putting pressure on their shoulder, keeping pressure on their body, making life uncomfortable for them, you know, draining their energy levels while you keep that weight on. They're not feeling good with that, uh, you know. My hand started going numb. It's, 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 a rough, it's a rough move. Like I said, I've shown this to, to people and then they use it on me. And sometimes I regret showing it to people because it doesn't feel good to, to do it, but sometimes that's what works in grappling. You've got to make people, put people in uncomfortable positions where you've got more experience and then you can start to attack it. So that's Hammerlock Pass. I like it. Have some fun with it. Play, play around, see if you can get it working. Thank you very much, Mr. Reznikov, for letting me put you through that. <laughs> that was really uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable and on your hips too. It's uncomfortable on, on everything. There's, there's no, we don't drill that position. No one wants to be put there. Uh, so go work it and I'll have more technique videos coming out in the next couple of weeks, months, years, you name it, we got it, alright, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this technique video, please check out some of my other breakdowns, like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more like it. Check out my website at sunnybrown.net and leave a comment down below of any other techniques you'd like me to show. Thank you.